Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my Twisted Life and TV. I am Poetry. You are here for another recap and review of Love Goals Season 1, Episode 7. It has something to do with the group is part of therapy or the group is part of the reason. The group is something. Um, this is another episode that I didn't take notes. I'm just going to go off the top of the head. This basically, like I said last week, has become the Althea and Benzino show. Let's just call it that instead of Love Goals. Um... This is probably one of the few episodes that I didn't agree with Spirit. I didn't agree with Spirit at all. Um, I totally agreed that the women were ganging up on Benzino. They have been ganging up on Benzino since the beginning of this doggone episode. Um, it has gotten so that because the women are ganging up on Benzino, the men have to because they got to protect their chicks as we saw with Breon trying to do with Sunday this particular time but Sunday is for me has been dead ass wrong through this whole fucking thing in regards to Benzino she talked too motherfucking much and everything that she's saying she has to get from Althea what you know about his fucking child support problems so what you know about anything that he has done with his sons? Because as you just said, Benzino is the one person who ain't opening up in the group. So where are you getting your information from? So Althea running her mouth, talking ill about Benzino, running back to y'all. And then y'all come up in Benzino face and try to throw it at him like he ain't shit as a person. And saying that Althea is saying, she a really good woman. She just want to be loved. Althea ain't shit either. She ain't shit either. So my hair is a mess. I'm about to try to straighten it, y'all. I'm going to see what I'm going to do today. I'm off work. Um, so, we start off with a Benzino montage. This whole montage was to get us to see where Benzino is um, losing his damn mind. He blowing up on everybody. He can't control his emotions, his feelings. He always walk away. When somebody trying to tell him about himself, he always trying to walk away. So, that was the purpose of the whole montage. And I remember each and every one of those doggone scenes. And I remember in each and every one of those scenes that I saw those montages and what was going on around it. I said, Benzino was right. He needed to walk away in that moment. He was right. He don't need them always coming at him, talking about what he did wrong. What the fuck you got to do with this situation? Check your own shit. I agree with Benzino. Okay, so <clears throat> in this particular situation, in this group session, everybody has to go around the room and tell what each person uh tell which person in the group they don't believe is really contributing to the group hold everybody accountable spirit feels that at this stage you know it has been a couple weeks now everybody been around each other and bonded at this stage we know enough about one another so we can hold each other's feet to the fire okay we start off with coolio Coolio say it's Sunday. Sunday got defensive. What? Me? Yeah, you. Because you don't talk. You you said you want to know who's not bringing something to the group session. Sunday, she don't express her feelings to her. She don't talk about her problems. She always shut down. She closed off. It's Sunday. I agree. Uh, Mimi said it's Coolio. Because she like everything that we say in this group, everything we do, we, he take it as a joke. I agree. Uh, Brian. Who did he say? Benzino. He said that Benzino feels like he has a lot to offer to the group. Um, he um, is very wise, but he loses his cool and walks out so he can't get whatever he needs to express said. So we're missing out on valuable information, okay? I can understand that, Brian. Then Sunday comes in. She says Benzino, because Benzino is selfish. He uh, flies off the handle. He pops up at the mouth. That's what children do. And I'm sitting here saying, you do the same fucking thing. This is you. I don't understand. Okay. So, note that. She said that he, it's something that a child would do. If I was Benzino, I would have took offense to that as well. You saying I'm a child. You saying I act like a child. Okay. Um... Everyone else, I believe, is getting constructive criticism while Sunday was the first one to open up the doors and throw out shade or insult with her criticism. But Spirit didn't see it that way. Then, um, Spin. 
she believed it was Sunday as well. Um, and she kept saying that you really closed off. You don't open up. Um, you put up these barriers around people. You know, no disrespect to you. And at first, Sunday was like, whatever, girl. You just, you proving right now exactly what she's saying. You don't want to hear what nobody got to say about you. You always shut them off. You always shut them down. You get a little funky ass attitude. All that extra rolling of the eye and them damn big ass spider lashes. I those get on my god dog on nerves, y'all. Just flicking all over the goddamn world. Yeah. You that person too, Sunday. Okay. Um, I cannot remember who Q said. I can never remember what Q says or does because Q has been so insignificant during this entire freaking process. It's, it's just, it, why is he there? The Q's whole presence in this show is exactly what I've been saying all along as to what his problem is. People ain't seeing him. They rarely acknowledge him. And that's what I keep saying. His issue is in regards to Spinderella. He wants to feel like he is her equal and people don't see that. They just see her. They talk to her. They acknowledge her issues, acknowledge her problems. But ain't nobody ask Q what the fuck is his issues? What the fuck are your problems? Nobody. He's so fucking insignificant that I can't even remember who the fuck he said that wasn't being accountable. Um... I can't remember who Dwayne said either. I don't know. Did Dwayne say Benzina? Or Dwayne say Sunday? I don't remember. I don't remember who Dwayne said either. Um, Teresa says Benzina. He's intimidating. He's selfish. He's a bully. He can't listen. And I'm sitting here like, in these group sessions, Benzino usually is the main one talking because that's who fucking takes over the goddamn one session. Everything in every group session has been about Althea and Benzino. And Benzino has been one of the most vocal people in the whole fucking group. So how is he the one not bringing shit to the table? You know what I'm saying? And I can see why he feels the way he said he feel. Althea said that she didn't want to say nothing. She didn't have a name written down. Um, cause she don't want to feel like she's stirring shit up. Okay. Even though that's what basically spirit wanted them to do. Bizzino didn't have a name written down. He was like, I'm just going to sit back and listen. I don't want to feel like I'm like antagonized people. I don't want to be dogging people out. You know what I'm saying it was a problem for Benzino to do that, but not a problem for Althea to do it. Althea didn't write nobody name down either. But it's a problem for Benzino to do it. So Benzino, once Teresa start getting in on him, and then Sunday start getting in on him, he like, y'all not finna keep making Benzino the bad guy every fucking day. And he tell, he's telling Spirit, but he's yelling at Spirit, and she ain't hearing him, because Spirit is like, you're doing exactly what they said doing. You're closing them off, you're not listening, you're not taking constructive criticism. They're not giving constructive criticism. They're belittling him. They're belittling him. Teresa and Sunday was a belittling the fuck out of Benzino. Calling him immature. Calling him a child. Teresa even called him a girl. Said he was female. You know what I'm saying? She telling uh, Dwayne, now you don't need to jump in this situation here because I'm not arguing with a man. I'm arguing with a bitch since he want to argue with a woman. That's basically what Teresa said. And I'm, I cannot stand women who do this. I said this before in, uh, when I was watching Ready to Love. And I'm going to say it right now on Love Goes. Women, if you want to sit there and argue with a dude and pop off with a dude, get out loud and get bouty bouty with a dude, don't act like he being a bitch because he argued back with you. Well, he's supposed to just sit back and take that shit, take your insults because he a fucking man. Now, and then you get getting your fucking feelings when he say something back to you. Only you want to act like a girl. Only, only women supposed to argue with women. Then why the fuck are you arguing with him? Why the fuck are you challenging him? And since you want to challenge his manhood and say he acting like a bitch, then why shouldn't he treat you like the bitch that you are and respond back accordingly? You fucking hypocrites. This shit was getting on my god dog on earth. I cannot stand it. I can't stand y'all motherfucking hoes who be sitting up there. And he should never say nothing about a woman like that, but your mouth steady popping off of him. Shut the fuck up if you don't want him to say something to you. That's how I feel about that. Spirit was dead ass flat ass fucking wrong. Spirit was wrong. 
I, like I said, I don't normally disagree with Spirit, but she was wrong as shit. Benzino had so much validity in what he was saying. These women been gunning from, for him since day one. They've been team Althea since day one. And Althea in the past couple weeks has grown a lot in her responses. I'm going to give her that. My distaste for Althea has not been as extreme as it had been. She has been showing that she is trying to be here and try to be part of the process. But Teresa, but Teresa and Sunday have taken up the the, the the hammer for so they could throw it in Benzino. Okay, you ain't got to say nothing, girl. We got your back. That's exactly what's been going on. Y'all motherfuckers been knowing her for 14 days. 14 days. And y'all got a lot of motherfucking mouth about her relationship. When y'all shit ain't in check. Okay. Telling Benzino he need to worry about his relationship. Bitch, you need to worry about yours. How, what the hypocrisy in what you fucking saying? The hypocrisy. Coolio and Mimi, Mimi sitting over there like, what the fuck is going on? Well, Breon, I understand, Breon. Breon toned, toned up. He was like, hey, watch your mouth when you're talking to my girl like that. And then <laughs> Benzino like, bro, you don't want no parts of this. You don't want no parts of this. You already know me. If you don't know me, you're going to know me in five motherfucking days. And trust me, bro, you don't want to come for me like this in here on camera like this. Because in five motherfucking days, we're going to be on our own. And you stepping to me about about this bitch? For real? That Sunday has been really a total bitch. I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand why people can't see that. But she's doing everything she's saying about Benzino. Sunday fucking is her damn self, yo. She's the exact same motherfucking person with a pussy instead of a dick. She's the exact same person. And it irks my fucking soul to see spirit continuously allow these women in this group to throw dagger after dagger after dagger after dagger. And then when somebody says something to them, they being disrespected. Ain't that a bitch? No. Fuck that. Fuck that. Maybe I'm a different kind of breed of motherfucker. Maybe that's what I am. But I'm not finna sit here and be chop, uh, popping off at the fucking mouth, because saying what I need to say, saying what I need to feel, you know, throwing my shots and daggers, and then when somebody says something back to me, I get in my motherfucking feelings because he got a dick between his legs. Only bitch is supposed to argue with bitch, but since he wanna act like a bitch, I'ma treat him like a bitch. Okay, Dwayne did the right thing. Dwayne was supposed to interject. Okay. Just same way Breon did. If if that's the feeling and that's the mentality that y'all got going, a man shouldn't be arguing with my woman. Only women should be arguing with women. Then let the man handle it. But Teresa like, no, no, he ain't a man anyway. I feel like I'm arguing with a girl. Really? You just proving exactly what he just sat there and said. These motherfuckers are not giving me constructive criticism. They've been belittling the fuck out of me. And you think that I'm supposed to sit here and take that shit. And spirit was allowing it to happen. She was allowing it to happen. Of course, Benzino need to check his attitude at the door sometimes. Benzino need to be part of the process sometimes. But in this whole little scenario, the name calling and the insults that they was throwing to try to get their fucking point across was not necessary. And he had every fucking right to defend himself. And Brian, yeah, I don't think you want no parts of Benzino. That little short nigga motherfucker, I think he was going to really get at your ass. Don't come at him like that for real, bro. You in here fronting and flossing in front of this girl right now. You think you got your protection because you got Dwayne sitting up here. Because Dwayne has become your bromance. You think that that's what's going to pop off. Okay. Calm your motherfucking ass down. Bring it on down. Breon didn't bring it down because of spirit. He brought it down because Benzino was going to check that ass for real. Let's be honest. Okay, so when we go back to Dwayne, Dwayne was like, after the shit was over, he was getting hot under the collar. Because like he said, he don't want nobody arguing with his woman. So he wants to know what's the best way for him to respond to a man coming at his woman. You know, when he's supposed to be the protector. But Teresa went off on this whole little tangent. I don't want you arguing for me. I don't want this to that. Because she feels like that he doesn't know how to argue. He gets violent. Okay, but if you ain't you saying that he ain't listening to you, you ain't listening to him. He's asking, I need y'all to help me. Help me be able to verbalize what I need to say. Because I know that I could fly off at the handle. She went on this whole little thing like, I need to get up out of here because I don't want my husband to do something. I don't want my husband to be put in the position that um, he got to handle him. Then shut the fuck up talking to him. Don't keep giving your motherfucking opinion to Benzino. He won't snap back at your motherfucking ass and your husband wouldn't have no fucking reason to defend you. 
I mean, give give criticism where criticism is due. But all the little shade and the insults and the daggers, don't think you can keep coming for this grown ass man and he ain't finna say something to your ass. Just because you're a fucking woman. I can't stand bitches like that. I was on Teresa team into this motherfucking episode. Oh my God. Okay, so <sighs> Teresa now wanna quit. I wanna leave the show. I can't do this. Can I get on another flight? Cause my husband gonna hurt that man. And without even realizing, Dwayne wasn't even in that mindset. Dwayne was like, I'm finna go have a gentleman's conversation with him because I think he my homie. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I can talk to him busy, you know. So Dwayne did just that. He went out there and had a conversation with Benzino while she in the house all flying off the handle like it's not gonna be good he gonna hurt him she try she want him to hurt him she want him to hurt him and then to play motherfucking victim and come back and say I knew you was gonna act this way I knew you was gonna be this way I don't want my husband to get bowed about but then shut the fuck up then that's that's why I'm at with that shut the fuck up then so Spinderella you know the mama of the house you know, she feels like there is some truth and validity in what the women are saying about Benzino. There's some truth and validity about what Benzino is saying about the women. But she is still on the point like, this is your fucking journey. Bruh, you need to work through your anger. You need to address what's going on with you. I know these motherfuckers getting on your nerves, but this is about your fucking healing. That's what you need to address. You need to find new ways on how you respond as well. Like we in here talking about how Teresa and Sunday popping off. You still need to find a way for you to respond. You ain't got to sit back and take that shit, but you can sit there and tell them hoes, look here. You can't talk to me that way. I don't feel like you should be talking to me that I don't appreciate your insults and your daggers. But we all know, if you don't know, I know it just based off of this fucking episode. Teresa and Sunday gonna keep fucking going and keep digging in and in. They have become Althea in Althea's silence. And then Teresa, what Teresa's saying? That's why you gonna walk out of here without your damn woman. They ain't together anyway. They ain't together anyway. You gonna keep acting like this. That's why you ain't got no motherfucking body. And as Benzino said, I don't need to hear all that shit. I ain't even trying to hear that. But then Spirit, Spirit, like, you need to hear it. They're trying to tell you. No, he, no, fuck that. Fuck that, Spirit. You was wrong as shit today. And if y'all disagree with me, leave it in the comment section. Fine, y'all could be disagree. We could, we could agree to disagree. I'm not finna come back at y'all, but I think that's some motherfucking bullshit. And if you act that motherfucking way, I'm telling you that's some bullshit to you. That's what I'm saying. <sighs> So, um, but Benzino, he was still upset, you know, so I don't think he was really soaking in what Spin was trying to tell him. He was talking to the cameraman, you know, I could see him getting aggravated with the camera in his face. I'm trying to have a conversation and here they come with the fucking cameras. Dude, stop recording me. And you won't stop recording me. I should have that right in the right for you to say, get the cameras off of me right now. It's not that time, but you want to keep recording? Then now we finna have problems. Get the fucking camera out of my face. I would feel that way. I would feel that way. Um, so, like I say, him and Dwayne, apparently, they had a conversation, um, between the men, where they was able to settle down, and Benzino you know, felt like he needed to apologize to Teresa, and without even going through whatever the steps is that Teresa feel he needs to have, um, Dwayne was able to do that. He was able to have a conversation with Benzino. He was able to say he's going to get an apology out of Benzino and make Benzino see where he was wrong. Whether you felt like she was dogging you or dissing you, you my motherfucking friend. Don't disrespect my wife that way. And Benzino understood that. Okay. Um, Spirit, like I say, she came and talked to Teresa and Sunday about Teresa leaving. And, you know, uh, we, it went back to the superwoman mentality that Teresa supposedly has. Like she needed to save Dwayne from being himself. She needed to save him from harming other people. So she put herself in harm's way. It, it wasn't that she was putting herself in harm's way. She thought little of Benzino. That's what the fuck that was. She, wasn't, she didn't feel like she was putting herself in harm's way. Because she felt like the Benzino was acting like a bitch. And if he did not held off and knocked your ass down, you'd have realized that's a grown ass man that she was fucking talking to. 
And she's probably hoping that he did it. Hoping that Dwayne was going to do something. And then say, oh my God, Dwayne, you shouldn't have did that shit. That's, that's what I was reading from Teresa. If y'all was reading the same thing, let me know in the comment section too. Okay, so basically she going to fucking stay. You know, stop trying to play stupid woman. Stop trying to, stop trying to uh, put yourself in harm's way so you can, so your husband can't be himself. He needs to learn how to grow and how to develop and get in control of his own emotions. You can't protect him. Um, you can't help him heal by trying to protect him. And in, 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 in turn, putting yourself in danger, trying to protect him. Okay, so um, Spirit decided to have a one-on-one -on -one with Benzino. He's calmed down now. I think Benzino got a thing for Spirit. <laughs> I really do. Like, he just, like, he lights up when she comes in the room. He said he loves their one-on-ones. It's them group sessions that be given to him. He like being around spirit. He likes a woman of maturity. He realized he's missing in his life, although he's very, very attracted to Althea. Um, so, they had a little conversation about getting his emotion in check and how to um, work the, through the steps so he could not blow up or n not allow his triggers to be pushed or what have you um she told him to get him some therapy once they leave there like i said this is therapy but these people need some deep seat all of them need some deep seated therapy for real for real for real i'm missing my therapist too that's probably why i'm going off like this in this fucking video i ain't seen my therapist in <sighs> hellas hellas anywho so um she what she did um, one of the things that he loves the most is his son. And so she agreed to let Benzino's son come there. So the, the son has been, Zeno has been with Althea's mama. Althea's mama looked just like her. The But her both of their plastic surgeries, when they sit next to each other, is so relevant, so present in their face. It's like, you can tell they went to the same doctor, got some of the same stuff done. Okay, but they look so much alike. Um, I know Althea said that little Zeno is her twin. Zeno looks like her and Ben Zeno. He looks like both his parents to me. Um, but yeah, when that little boy seen his daddy, he lit up. Ben Zeno said that he go weeks at a time without seeing his kid. Why? Unless you on the road working some goddamn work, why are you taking? Why are you spending so much time away from your son? Is Althea keeping him away from you? I, I don't see that happening because she keeps saying that you're a good father. So I don't see that she's keeping you away from him. So why are you not seeing your son? Okay, but he got to see his son and like this whole little moment just, just like changed him. Just like opened his, his, his heart up. Like this is pure and unconditional love right here, this child. That child, that love right there ain't the same as a love from your mate. I'm, I'm just, it's not. It's just not. It's just a difference. It's a different type of love. It's a different type of feeling. And the love you get from your child ain't, ain't going to be the same you get from your, your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend. It's just not. Um, but okay, you, you you needed to feel a love. You needed to feel, a, you need to feel a hug. You need to feel that somebody in there is on your team. That's basically what it is. He feel like he a man alone on the island. Even though Spinderella has been trying to like open up to him, he, he you know, and if from what Coolio was saying, just listen to Coolio. Coolio seems to be on his side. He's like, you know, he doesn't seem like that person who's just going to be petty. He don't seem like that person. And usually in almost every scene that we've seen where Benzino has exploded um, with Sunday or Teresa, it's been because of some shit that they said that was flippant. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Um... And like when when it's him and Althea, they just both go at it, and then they just they they hurt each other like with intensity. Just there's they shit is just really bad. Um, but as far as with this child together, yeah, that boy loved his his daddy. His daddy loved you could tell he loved him, and Althea loved seeing them together. And Althea, yeah, that relationship they need to learn how to co-parent for that child. Somebody in the comment section said last week, that's the one thing they have not done. We have not seen Spirit give them any tools yet to show them how they could start to co-parent. It seems like she's just been trying to work on them getting back together. That's what it'll seem like to me. They need to learn how to co-parent with a child. 
So that's the love that they should have been focusing on this the whole time. And I thought from the beginning, that's what they said they wanted to do. I know that there's some underlying things that they wanted to bring out because we all knew that Benzino wanted to be with out there. But that ain't that, that's not what their goal should have been. That goal should have been that child. And that's what Spirit should have been focusing on. I'm very disappointed that she has not done that. But but he, fuck that. He, he's, he was right to me. And I was on Team Benzino again. Damn, how many weeks I'm going to be on Team Benzino? She's been allowing these women to like dog walk him through the park. You know what I'm saying? And, and with and saying that he's the one that's wrong for not sitting there taking that shit or having an opinion about it or striking back against them with his words. I know two wrongs don't make it right, but fuck that. I ain't finna keep letting no bitches be out jumping up on me with words or whatever. And just, I'm gonna sit back there and just... Because think about it. If he had sat back there and just said nothing, then they'd have said, see, you won't participate. They inviting the argument. That's all I'm saying. That is love goes, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this episode. We got one more to go. One more to go. I'm probably not going to do no notes on that either. Again, because this ain't been nothing but the out there. And Benzino, show y'all. That's all it's really been. That's all it's really been. Y'all let me know what y'all thought. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace.